Hello, and welcome to Four Wheels Wobble. Now, let me introduce Annie to you. She's a Ford side valve, a 493A stroke F, registered as an export model 1951. Now, this is her first start of 2023. She's been on a trickle charge um, for quite a while now, as you can see. Everything looks okay, it's not too bad. Also a bit of a clean down there on the earth. But that won't take a bit of boiling water over that, that'll just cure that, take that straight off. I've primed the carburetor, pumped up the fuel. And I'm presuming I haven't put my meter on the battery, but I'm presuming it's good. It's it's not that it's not a very old battery. So what we'll do, further turn around, do a delay. Let's see. If we can get her going, and if we can get her going, let's get her outside. If it's not going to rain today. Okay, so it's a bit of a squeeze in here. I'll clean this. I'll clean that lot out. Just move that out of the way. But <coughs> she's in the best place in here. It's nice and I'd say cosy. Now you can only go in one way. Because I'm not really that big. So here, as you can see, I have a little precaution there. Put a floor in, which is fastened to the wall there, so it doesn't matter if you bang into it. And getting in, okay, I'll get you in first. Oh, right, here we are. Now, what we got in here, Annie? The dams, eh? Oh, no, that is. <laughs> okay, that was funny, because I, I remember that now, that's in here somewhere. Is there a listen if I whistle? Where is it? I can hear it. Oh, here it is. <laughs> Who remembers these? I think that's from the 70s, I'm pretty sure. And I put a battery in it. Basically, if you whistle or it picks up a high sound, it finds your keys for you. I think I'll, I'll put it on the uh, keyring here, shouldn't I? But they, they get all mashed up. But, uh, yeah, that's what that bleeping was. That uh, threw me a little bit there. Okay, so that's what we got in here. This is Annie. She's just been re-registered for the <laughs> Ford Side Valve Owners Club. We'll have to ignore the bleeping. I don't know why it's picking the meal. Um, we just renewed our um, membership. I am one of the moderators there, so if you have any questions, give me a shout. Um, and we've owned this car well i have owned this car restored this car from 1985 so we've got a bit of history and that mirror i've just got older and older and older <laughs> and the mirror stays the same i wonder how many uh, other people have had that experience yep we went to the beach last time isle of Wight. that was quite a treat now let's see if we let's switch her on see what happens with, with the guy it should be okay a little bit of fuel in there. I have got some spare. I need two hands on me. Where is me? Where is my? I've got, a, I've got the traditional peg in there somewhere. There you go. That's for the choke. And I need, I need two hands to do. Okay, that's the choke out, and that's the choke hold. Right then. Okay then. Here we go. Handbrakes. I'm going to start to brief if she starts up. Come on, Annie. What you got for 2023? Come on. Come on. Come on, Annie. Not in here, pretty battery. Well, we found the keys. We know where the keys are. Thank you very much. And again. A bit, a bit of chokes, chokes out as far as it will go. The ignition is on. I'm going to put the ignition on because the gauge is up, and again, here we go. Okay, we don't want to flood down. Okay, nothing's happening. Not even a, not even a giggle out of you at the moment, eh? Come on, Annie. It's 2023. We need you now. More than ever. 
All oh, right. Well, me doing that's just flattening the battery, so oh, that is starting. To... <laughs> I don't know what I repaired. I think actually that's probably why the battery was out of it. Right, choke in, choke out. Let's get a bit so I can get a bit more pull on the choke. This so I'm going to put you down. I'm going to put you over here. I don't know what you can see, but enjoy the view. Right, and again. Nothing. Absolutely nothing but that bloody thing bleeping. Right, now, okay. Okay. Turn the ignition off. Let's go and find out what's going on. What's going on with you right now? I can smell fuel. Pick up and go smell it. <laughs> Dear God. Right, let's come back to it. Let's get under the bonnet. Let's take you all in there. Okay, so what do we know? We've got a battery going. And she's uh, she's wanging her over. That's not a problem. Now let's check these connections there. That's okay, and that looks okay. I haven't checked the coil, but it seems to be fine. I will check in the points in a minute. See if I've got a spark. <clears throat> the problem with these, you can flood them very quick. So uh, I know I've got fuel because I can smell it now. But uh, and she's quite dry actually. Because uh, let's get them. Let's get the top of the dizzy off. Let's have a look what state the points are in. Let's see if they're not stuck together. Okay, so quite dry in there. Not looking too bad at all. That's our doorbell. Jehovah's Witnesses are at the, at the front. Keep quiet. Okay, let's see if we've got a spark. I'll come back to you. I've got to get the ignition on. Hold on. Let's take this off actually because it's not looking too bad. I'll put you up there, safe. And let's have a look at these. The ignition's off so I can put my finger in there. I'll be brave. Are you actually separating? Yeah, we're separating and we're, and we're off the can. So I need a screwdriver. Screwdriver out of here. Sure, yeah, let's have a look. I, mean, I could do with something plastic actually. What we got? And the, and the nadger, actually, I'll have to go through all this up and see what I have actually got. Okay, then, so I've got this screwdriver. Let's get let's get these out of the way. Let's see if we get. So, first off, we've got to find out. Are we getting a spark here? I can feel it moving. Okay, you don't have to pit it pitted. I've got chill it on. What I'll do is I'll get a crank on it. I'll get the crank on it and we'll turn her over. That's what we'll do. And we'll get this to the top of the cam. But first, I'll check the spark. Let's check the spark. Ignition on. Okay, I've just come back. Now, what I've found, what I've got, <clears throat> don't tell the wife, but I've got one of her plastic knives here. Because it's a non conductor and I need that. Let's get you in. I need that for here. So, everybody keep your eyes open. I'll put this in this way. It's perfect this is because it's it's not going to conduct. So keep your eyes open. Let's give it a little twist. Can you see, can everybody see that? Right, yeah? Let's twist him out. Oh. Yeah. So, okay, I'll do it again. It's going to be awkward to get in, but come on. Come on, what's the matter with you? Not stuck together, are you? You got a spark there. Can you see it spark? Right, we've got a good spark. So we know we've got it coming up to there. Let's check the gap. I don't know if you can see that. 11 thou. I think the gap size is between 10 and 12. And it's got to be. Get my fingers out of the way. So the gap size is going to be between 10 and 12 and I, I've got the ignition off so we're okay and this is 11 so it's just in the middle, come on that's just nice that is you can see and again and yeah, that's just a nice gap there it's at the top of the lobe okay and with 6 volt, 
because it's a six volt system actually i'll wipe that oil off of the rim actually now i can see shining at me got a bit i've got a bit of rag here i'll give that a wipe with six volt you've got to have everything clean and spot on because you're not getting that 12 volt kick so as long as everything's clean and we've got a spark definitely so it's next point is to go to the plugs so we're going to get a socket for them and we'll have a look at the plugs okay right then that's so we've got a good gap and we've got a good spark i'll clean i'll give that a wipe and we'll uh, <clears throat> put him back together i'll give him a quick wang on the starter see if she'll go <coughs> and then if we get no joy then let's take the plugs out all right oh i wasn't recording Okay, now we're back in here now. So I'll switch him on. Now we know we got fuel. Come on, focus. We know we got fuel. I'll just check that we got we got uh, we got spark to the dizzy. So I'm not going to labour this because if she's not going to go, she's not going to go. And we're just going to run the battery now. So here we go again. Let's see what's going on. If nothing happens here now, let's get the plugs out. We just we just get in the battery. Let's get the plugs out. Okay, we're back. And then after a three-day search for a socket plug spanner, which I do have, I have, a, I have a, a very good plug spanner, but that seems to have disappeared. Anyway, let's have a look. What's going on? You can be the first to see this. Where are you? Okay, a little bit rich. Let's have a look over here. Come on, focus. Yeah, there you go. Rich, let's clean her up. What's she smell like? Dry. That is not flooded, that's dry, that is. It means there's no fuel coming up. Honey, what are you playing at? We primed you. Yeah? Right then, they're dry. Okay, I haven't taken all the plugs out. I've put that one back together, it's only sooted up. And the gap was okay. So what I'm gonna do, let's get these off. Let's get this bowl off. And let's have a look in here and see what fuel we've got going on. And then let's just have a quick look at the jets as well, the main jet. Right then, I'll bring you back. Let's see if there's anything in there. Okay. We got fuel. Yep, and we're floating. So it's, that's doing its job. And we have got fuel, so that's definitely not getting into the plugs. Okay, let's have another look. Okay, so here's where we're at. Doesn't look too dirty in there at all. Because she's maintained, I've got to be honest. The float was floating, no problem. But let's get them jets out and check check what's going on there because there's definitely nothing coming up to the uh, plugs because they were dry. So let's have a look at the jets. Okay, I don't know that you can see that, but that's clear. There was nothing in there. I've just blown through it. That's clear and clean. So. Problem isn't there. I'll get the others out. If I come across anything, I'll I'll show you. Okay, I should have done this earlier. But what you can do on these cars, you can pull the spark plug out. I want to see if the sparks go into the plug now. So we'll, let's find that out because I've, I've taken the top off and poured some fuel directly in. Now the bowl's working, so that would eliminate the pump. And still nothing. So let's see if we are getting a spark, which I can wangle. I've got it, I've got the ignition on, so keep your eyes on that. Let's have a look. Yeah, we've got a spark. So we're definitely getting a spark, but I, that plug is dry, so I'm gonna I'm gonna take them all out, clean them. Anyway, but I don't think there's fuel getting there. So what are you doing? Your jets are free. I poured you directly in. So something's not right. You've only been standing, you was working when you came in here, so I know you've been standing for a bit, but 
I wonder if it's bad fuel. Although no, no, the fuel's quite fresh to be honest. I've just poured some fresh fuel in it, so fresh ish. But it doesn't smell. I can't smell anything on that plug. Let's get them all out. Let's have a look. Do them one at a time. Okay, so the first one we've done. The number three plug is wet. Soaking wet. And that could be flooded. So we're getting fuel. These two are dry. And this one's wet. And I bet number four is wet as well. So, okay. So we're getting fuel. We're getting something. Okay, then let's see what happens now. And yet, yeah, number four, soaking wet. You can definitely smell the fuel there. Okay, so dry at the front, wet at the back. And yeah, definitely. So I'll give, give you this a clean, set your gap again, and pop you back in. Okay, we're back. Okay, ignition on. And let's see if we can get anything now. We just see what's going to happen now, and eh? Battery's flat. Oh, she nearly went then. Come on, Annie. You can do it. to go I'm to tip choke off her now because it's not that cold in here come on right she wants to go but the battery's flipping at it now so let's try cranking her over I'll leave the ignition on I'll put that there I'll leave it with the choke off no I can't film this because uh, right, well I'll have a go at filming it but it could be a fiasco <laughs> And they've got to open the doors as well, so fucking heck. Right, let's see if we can get it going. Okay, well, the ignition is on. The choke is in. The battery's there. And we did, she did try and go, but the battery's just not got it now, so... Right, there's not enough room here. Okay, here goes nothing. Thumb on the inside, and if you can see that. And ask the kickback could break your hands, break your thumb. that let's try it with the choke out on the pig oh, actually whilst on there whilst this is out in there I'll give it a wangle now with the starter as well let's see if she'll go to give it a bump start when you're doing this on your own it's not much joy you need somebody on the choke and the accelerator inside charged up she's stinking of fuel now and she wants to go 
but the battery's just not having it. So, let's get the battery on charge for a bit, come back in a bit, come back in a few hours, I think. Okay, we just tried her again, and she's trying to fire up, but there's just not enough power to get her spinning quick, and get her quick enough. So, let's put it on trickle charge for a bit. I know you shouldn't charge a battery with a trickle charger because they're not for charging batteries, but, oh, but it's not going to hurt. So leave that on for a bit, cup of tea, and I'll take the cranking handle out as well because that didn't help. Although I, I tell you what, I'll try that again when I come back first. I'll try it on the cranking handle first because then all the power's going into the coil and plugs instead of via the battery. Oh, well not battery via the starter motor, which does a heavy drain on the power. So the crank should eliminate it, but like I said. You need somebody in there helping you flipping pull the choke, push the choke and tickle the accelerator and then when it just about gets to go just you know like feather the accelerator and you'll get her. But it is definitely now, I'm definitely now at fuel, uh, no not fuel, we sorted the fuel issue out, we cleaned all the plugs and we've got spark and I've put the cap back on and it's primed. And she's she's ready to go. To be honest with you, it's just that the battery is not ticking her, throwing her over fast enough at the moment. So when we come back, quick wangle on the wangle, and uh, we'll see what happens. All right, cup of tea first. So back at the scene of the crime, we'll have a cup of tea, take a break. That's what you should always do when you're in a fight like this. So she's struggling a little bit i've got to be honest she's not normally like this she's been left too long but uh what what happens and i know this from experience if you oh. if you uh if you try too hard and you keep wanging it over and then you got the choke out and you're tickling the accelerator and it's not firing all you're doing is you're filling the cylinders up with petrol on lit fuel and then when you do that obviously you flood it and when you flood it it won't start it's too wet and then it just drains the battery but that battery's quite good it's starting to recover actually but uh, she's on a trickle so leave it for that as I say I will, I will, I will try the handle in a bit but tea first let's have a go and have a look at what the day is doing Here's the back of the scene of the crime. And yeah, we fitted a diesel heater. That's working lovely, I must admit. Pumps hot air into a cold room. Doesn't replace your central heating, but it's uh, a great addition. And you know what you're using. And it's not bad on fuel. Not bad at all, to be honest with you. And we got one in the camper, so I thought, you know what? You've got to set one up here. And it's on a... If that's on a trickle charge at the moment because of the winter and not much sun. But I've actually got a solar panel there which does charge this battery up, no problem. When we get a lack of sunshine, I just plug this in for five minutes, keeps the battery going. But I've had no issues even when the battery's gone down to 12 amp, 12 volts, sorry. No, no, no issues at all. Any issue I'm having at the moment is with Annie. Oh, come on, Annie. Strip me tea. And I said it is narrow there, but I can get in. It looks more narrow on the telly, I think. But yeah. Right then. Let's strip my tea and have another go. Give it two minutes. Here goes nothing. She had a good ten minute rest. The ignition's on. There's nobody in there helping me, obviously. I'm my own again. Right, let's give it a few ways with the start handle. I've left it on the trickle. Hopefully it won't fall off when it, if she should start up, but she will start. Oh, hear that then? Come on, eh? Oh, anyway, here you go. So I need somebody to trickle the 
and it's all right then. She's going to go. Oh, I'll that would happen. Come on, you stay there. Right. Let's go on the handle, Annie. It's your last chance. Come on. Oh, oh, the best yet. Right, one more. She just wants to go. Just needs somebody on the accelerator. Right. Right, Annie. The braking mod back. I've had a bad back. A little bit of choke. So giving a 10 minute a breather, giving her a breather, she uh, foot pedal evaporates and things happen. Alright, this is a bit, a bit of choke, but I'm not going to overdo this. to go. Right, she didn't lock the choke. Alright then, honey. Right then, honey. Flipping heck. Drink my tea. I mean, this is your last chance. You've never struggled this much. You need this nice warm garage. Come on, Annie. This is the one. Five minutes. Also waiting. Oh dear. Come on, Annie. Now I spoke very nice to you. I'm not going to get angry with you. I drink the rest of this tea, and then I'm going to give you another chance, Annie. I'm going to give you another chance on this handle because I know when I'm doing the handle all the power is going to you supply the game Annie come on see I'm being nice to you you've never let me down so I think what I'm going to do this is the plan because you're going to make a plan if I can't get you going Annie I'm going to take the battery off and put it on charge overnight. I won't charge it up in here because it's a fire risk. So I've got a system, I take them outside and run the cables outside and put a rain cover on them if, if it should rain. And I know it's safe then. So, bit of an overkill, but you know, we're talking a historic document here, a, a historic vehicle that's made it this far. So let's not take any chances. But I am going to give you one more go, Annie, on this handle. Seriously. Come on. Because it's getting messy now. And I've got my best jeans on as well, and I didn't realise I was going to get into a struggle. Bit of a flat battery I can handle, but, you know, teasing me like this. Okay, that's enough sweet talk. Let's finish this tea. There's not much left.
I kind of got base it on a cup of tea in between starts. Uh, right. I'll bring you back in when I'm all set up. Do you like my patch? Can I? I did there. Anyway. Right. The ignition's on. The ignition is on. The choke is in. And let's see what we can do. Right then, Annie, come on. Be good to me, Annie. One more, that was the best yet. Oh, come on, something was in there tickling that accelerator. Oh, oh, one more, come on. We're getting this on film. We're nearly there. See, that was good. That was good, Annie. That was very good. Right then. One more. Oh! Keep going, keep going, Annie. Oh, yes. Oh! Oh! See what I mean? You need somebody there. Alright. Okay, right, she's running, right? She's running and she's cleared herself out. Leave it for a bit. Let's drink the tea. Well done, Annie. Right, that was a bit of a struggle. But she was purring. But she was going brum, brum, brum. By the time I got to that door and opened it, all I had to do was tickle the accelerator right and we would have been done then. But she's a runner now. She's running. So leave her on this trickle charge. Finish your tea off. And then we'll come back and we'll I'll do it by I'll do it by the crank again. I know I'm holding it wrong, everyone's gonna pick me up on that. But I'm pulling it, what I'm doing, I'm wanging it and wanging it and then pulling him out. And I'm like vroom. So okay. Right then, five minutes and then we'll come back. Okay. Can you see that? Before the camera falls over. I'll get you a bit higher. If I can. Oh good god. What is wrong with this stand now? This is gonna be the one. This will be the one. Just make sure the ignition's on. Ignition on. Ignition's on. Achille Doke. Sure you're recording this because this is gonna be the one. Just a mixture of. Let's have a look. Just dirty, dried out plugs. The uh, the fuel pump's obviously working. Now the battery did let me down a little bit. It's been on a trickle charger, but and it held on. It was going for it, but at the end, with the f little bit of flooding, uh, we definitely had spark everywhere. I mean, she's purring now. I mean, she hasn't started since last year. So she's running, so we'll get her out and I'll carry on with the jobs I was meant to be doing because I wasn't meant to be doing this. I'll come in here to sort some windows out, some domestic chores that I have to do. Let's have a look. She's going now. Right then, let's get her out. Oh, on, yeah. Oh, I've been told to say this. I think. Please subscribe, yeah, to Four Wheels Wobble, because there's going to be many adventures like this. I don't think she'll be this hard to start again, but, you know, 
it happens, but we got there. And everything seems to be okay. I can't see anything major disasters or sparks flying everywhere. No, we seem to be okay. Okay then, right, let's get her out. Another lesson about starting old cars, don't get angry with them. See how nicely I spoke to her. And look at the results we got. She's out. Right then. Now, let's tidy up and do what I was going to do in the bloody first place. Which was a domestic chore set by the wife. So. She just thinks I'm playing with cars. I can I know what she's going to be thinking. Right then. Well, actually, at least I've got you lot here as evidence that I was having a bit of a struggle there. I'm going to have another cup of tea. Tidy up and have another cup of tea and then do the job I've been set to do. But I'm going to leave her running for a bit. Right then. Back in a minute. Okay. Now we've got over the tantrums of not starting in 2023. Let me show you how she normally starts for me and has been a good girl since 1985. Right then, put a bit of fuel in as well. Oh, she's purring. Happy again. You didn't have to play me up so much, did you, Annie? Oh, like a fluffle over nothing. Anyway, let's do what I'm supposed to be here doing and that's to fix a window. So I'll crack on with that, and then I'll bring you back when we push her back in the, well, push, drive her back into her stables. So, job done. That's what I was sent here to do. Not mock about with the cars, but they'll never believe that. They just think I'm playing with cars. Frosted the windows out, because they've been frosted out all the way along. And in there, you could see the prefect, old Annie. You can't see her now. I don't know why you don't want to see a beautiful car like that, but. My job is done. So let's get her away. Okay. Right then, Annie. Now yeah, that job's done. Let's see how you go in. Oh, yes. Much better, much happier. Okay. Just got to drive in. And it's a bit difficult holding this and driving in. So I'm going to put you somewhere where you'll stay. No, you're not going to stay there, are you? Oh well, let's have a go. Okay. Here we go. Because we've got to keep it over to the edge because we've got a diesel eater in here. And I don't want to get too close to it. I stood me. So we're going over this way a little bit. I forget it's really narrow in here, so. Something. I think that 
I've hit the fish tank. Oh, there's me bleepy bleep. I think that's going to drive me insane. I wonder what it was when it first happened. Anyway, I think we're in. Yeah, we're in. I can tell by where that flower is to my wing mirror. That's how accurate you got to be. Anyway, the jobs are done. Unfortunately, what I have noticed is... Let's turn her off. Because I think we're in. I do put the handbrake on, actually. Which I shouldn't do, but it's quite okay in here. Um, you know, unfortunately, what I've noticed is the weather's changing. I thought the weather was going to pick up now. But let's have a look how close we are. Oh, that's close, isn't it? That's very close. Can you see that? Pinpoint accuracy. But then this way, we've got those are the diesel heater. We've got clearance. That's fine. Well, she fits. She's only got to fit so I can get out. And nothing's touching her, so that's good. But I've noticed the weather's going to change. <laughs> so, we're heading for some snow. It won't affect us in here, but... You know, we, we did have a bit of a problem starting you up, didn't we, Annie? Let's have another go. One more go, just make sure you're all okay. Let's get the dials in and see what you do. Beautiful. Well, your plugs are clean. Your fuel's flowing. Your spark's good. I did take all the jets out of the carburetor bowl and give them a blow through, but they didn't seem to be blocked to me. I did have a blockage when I came back from Braymore trip once, but it's still, she still struggled home. Oh, but, I don't know what it is. What, what, what frequency is that? Or is, I bet it's a word I say or something stupid. So at least I'll never lose that key fob, will I? I'll have to attach it to something. Oh, don't you thump it to gear. Right then, let's turn you off. Right then, put you back on trickle charge and not leave it so long this time. Although I have been busy and I did do my backing and, and all sorts, but yeah, let's not leave it so long this time, Anna. Yeah, and what we'll do, there's my haircut. I don't know if you can see, I've had my haircut. Yeah, um, yeah, what we're gonna do, we're gonna do it usually more regular. We've got trips to do, places to be, things to see, and trips to go on and shows we're gonna do more shows and although I don't really like shows but we'll we'll do a few and then we'll have some adventures mm -hmm. definitely have some adventures I'm looking forward to that but we've got a spell of bad weather coming two weeks and I have checked the weather forecast and it doesn't look good it's gonna dip and stuff so we'll be hibernating for a little bit but there are still jobs I can do in here, and what I will do in here is I'll, I'll come in and I'll turn her over every few days just to make sure we're okay and the trickle charge is working. And we, I'm not going to leave it so, so long, but it has been left since I think November last year, so or before probably. But we have been busy, you know. Life gets in the way. Anyway, beach. Let's. Uh, let's <laughs> I'll do that again, shall I? Because God, what a load of rubbish. Trying to end the video properly, and I'll. I thought that was going to be good then, landing on the beach. What a load of rubbish. Anyway, if you watched this far, thank you for watching. If you got this far, thank you for watching. And uh, please subscribe. And I'll edit this now, put it together, and I'll I'll bang it on. And at least you can see what it's like trying to start it, start a, a forward side valve when she's uh, just, you know, not playing the game. Thank you very much. Catch you later. Bye.